Well, hello there. It's that time again. Yes, it is. A little early, actually. Today is Thursday, Thursday afternoon, August the 1st. Aha, here we are in the dog days of summer. And I'm going to do my weekly tarot blog. Now, I'm doing a little early because my schedule is still a little bit topsy-turvy. I'm down here at Modern Zen, my home away from home, appointment only. And I'm here, so I decided to go ahead and shoot the blog today instead of tomorrow. But as usual, I'm going to go over the energies at the end of last week's reading, what we're coming into now, and what lies ahead of us at the end of this week. So do stay tuned. It's going to be interesting. Okay, the first card is the last card of the previous week's reading. Now this card was Justice Adjustment. Libra. Balance. Coming into a state of balance of heart and mind or mind, body, and spirit, if you prefer to say it that way. Because that's what Libra is all about, is harmony and balance. But it's also mental energy. It is an air sign. It's ruled by Venus, which is the heart, and also Saturn, structure, discipline, manifestation, does well in it as well. So you may have felt very balanced, you may have felt very focused, and because of this balance and focus, as we go into our next week, we're going to find the things slowly but surely begin to happen for us in some very positive and beneficial ways. That's right. The card we're coming into now is the Eight of Discs or Pentacles, if you're used to the right of weight terminology. Now, Eight of Pentacles or Discs is a very nice card. It's a very pleasant energy entitled Prudence and attributed to Sun in Virgo. Now, Virgo ruled by Mercury. It's very careful, it's very conservative, it looks at details. It doesn't want to race forward, it wants to be careful and move a step ahead at a time. So the whole idea is, I say, financial progress through working hard and saving money as opposed to getting lucky on one of the scratch-offs, okay, or suddenly coming into some kind of fortunate situation. This is basically making our fortune. But we're in a position to do that. Because, again, we have that balance and that focus. So don't be surprised if you find yourself not worrying about finances, but you know, focusing on that area of your life and making sure that the I's are dotted and that all the T's are crossed because that is going to be important. But that's also going to lead us to some very, very wonderful things, more wonderful things, by the end of this week. That's right. The third and final card is the High Priestess, Isis. And again, sort of like Virgo energy. Uh, in the Western esoteric tradition, she is seen as Virgo or the Virgin, Mighty Mother. And Isis is Lady of All Possibilities, Lady of 10,000 Names, Lady of All Things. She's also the Lady of the P word, Patience. So we do need to be patient. But know this that we can have a great deal of flow in our lives. As she's pictured in the card that you're seeing now, she has her arms outstretched. She's receiving energy. Okay, she is a moon. Okay, it is lunar energy. She's receiving and also giving energy. So it's a greater sense of flow, a greater sense of freedom, a greater sense of our spirit and our psychic abilities. So there you go. The blog is blazed. You blazed with it. We got some nice things coming up this week. Some pleasant flow of energies. I appreciate you tuning in. I love you. Till I see you next week, many, many blessings.